The installer drills an off-center hole three quarters of an inch in diameter, approximately one inch from the edge of the header. This will allow the leader drop magnet to be correctly placed in the insulation. When the drilled hole is complete, the leader portion of the leader drop magnet should be placed in the hole. Once the leader makes contact with the insulation, apply slight pressure and rotate until it freely drops into the insulation. At this point, move the leader up and down in the insulation to create a pocket for the drop magnet. The pocket must be within one half inch of the sheetrock for the retriever unit to correctly couple with the drop magnet. Once the pocket has been created, attach the cable or pull line and push the leader drop magnet down past the connection point of the leader. The installer should always leave an adequate loop in the cable to accommodate the wall height. The installer will now use the retriever unit to locate the drop magnet suspended in the wall. Slowly move the retriever unit in a left to right motion down the wall. When the retriever unit passes over the drop magnet, it will become magnetically attached to the wall. This connection verifies the correct wall cavity as well as the drop magnet location. The retriever unit will suspend itself on the wall once it is connected to the drop magnet. After the drop magnet is located, the installer moves the retriever unit left to right to correctly couple the leader magnet. The retriever unit is then pulled down the wall to the desired outlet location by using quick 2-inch vertical strokes. For maximum pull strength, the retriever unit should always be pulled, not pushed. When the installer is satisfied with the outlet location, a 1 and 1 8 inch hole is drilled to retrieve the drop magnet. When the hole is complete, the installer guides the retriever unit to the hole and retrieves the drop magnet.